What's up, Wayne Navy? It's your boy, Rick King, and we back here with another story time. Mm -mm. So, as you can tell by today's title, we are doing another DL story time. So, I know y'all love my DL, DL story time, so I'm always going to keep them coming with y'all. So, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And let's get into this story time. So, I want to say this happened like when I first came to UTSA, because like I go to UTSA in San Antonio, Texas. And... It was fall, like I was a freshman, you know, just being new to the city and just new to college and new to all the college life and everything in the surroundings, just being new, okay? So basically, um, I was on Tinder. I was in my room. It was like really late. I think I just came back from a party and I had downloaded Tinder. So I was on Tinder just swiping and looking, you know, after I had made my profile or whatever, I started getting matches. So... This one dude popped up on my, like on my area because he was close in the area. So when he popped up on my um thing, I swiped right on him because he was really cute. Tall, um, he looked like he was caramel, he had tattoos, he had like dreads and he was really cute. Like he was really cute and he, he was kind of buff. So when I swiped right on him, it said I matched with him. So, you know, that means he swiped right on me first. That's when I was like, oh shit, like reach on me. Period. So I was like, okay, period. So he did give me very much hood nigga vibes. Like he gave me ghetto very much. I shoot people, I sell drugs. I probably smoke drugs. I probably eat drugs. I probably feed my grandma drugs. He gave me very much them vibes. So bitch, I was like, okay, that's my type. Like bitch, beat me with a gun. Tie me up and shoot me. I won't say nothing. But no, he like, when we match, soon as I matched with him, he texted me, what's up? Like two seconds after we match, bitch, I was scared. Like it was just weird. Like usually you, you t it take a while for the person to want to text you or like sometimes I'll text them first and then it take a while for them to respond. Cause like it's Tinder, like nobody just be on Tinder. I don't know what I just did with this, <laughs> but so he was like, what's up? And I was like, hi, with like a smiley emoji, like, like that. And so he he was like, what you doing? I was like, um, laying in my dorm, you know, just showered. He was like, without me? So I'm like, without you? Boy, bye. And so I was like, mm, yeah. And then he was like, damn, that's that. And I was like, mm, not really, cause I don't know you. And so he was like, um, What's your name? So I was like, my name is King. What's your name? I'm going to say his name is... I'm going to say his name, Terry Joe. So his name was Terry Joe. And he was like, I was like, nice to meet you, Terry Joe. What you doing? He was like, nothing smoking at the, at the trap house. I'm like, at the trap house in San Antonio? He was like, yeah. I was like, oh, okay. I was like, um, you fine as fuck. And he was like, thank you, mama. You too. He called me mama. I'm like, dude, what? And then so, I asked him like, so I asked him a question like, where you from? What's your favorite food? What you like to do? Da, 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 da. He told me he was from, damn, no, I can't say that because he doesn't know what I'm talking about now. So I'm not gonna say that. He said his favorite food was like pizza. And then he said he loved to like, just watch TV and smoke. I was like, it's giving bum. It's giving, I don't have a job. It's giving, I need to get up and go to work. It's giving, it's not giving what it's supposed to give. So I like, okay, cool. Maybe he make a bank from all the weed he sell. Must, in which he do, I think he do. So he asked me the same thing. I was like, I'm from Louisiana. Um, I just moved to Texas in 2018. I go to UTSA. He said he go to UTSA too. He's a junior and I'm like, okay. I never seen him on campus. So I'm guessing he either lying or he an online student. So, um, and then I told him I was a freshman. And then I think that made him excited because like when people be like, oh, I'm a freshman at UTSA, or I'm a freshman here, doing that, like, and they been here in the city. 
that makes them like want to pray on you kind of giving like senior praying on a freshman in high school that's what they like it gives like they just want to give you know get into it with the the newbie so after a while or whatever like we just having a random conversation i was like do you want to pull up like do you want to hang out because i wish i was drunk too mind you i had just came from a party and so like i was i was really just drunk and just trying to do some more shit because it was boring i was just gonna lay down and just like go to sleep and i didn't want to go to sleep so he was like, yeah, you send me to Addy. I was like, I'm on UTSA campus. And so he was like, babe, I know exactly where it's at. I was like, okay. So he pulled up like 15, 20 minutes later because he said he stayed far. And I was like, okay. So as he getting ready to pull up, I'm like going to get in the shower again. I showered again. I brushed my teeth again. And so, I'm doing a video, hold on, shut up. Anyways, so I was like, okay, I went and got in the shower and then that's when um, he pulled up and I was already like smelling good. I had my perfume and stuff on, I had refreshing up. A bad bitch was just ready to see his nigga or see the hoe, like one of the new hoes that's gonna be added to the roster. It was giving very much hoe prostitute cause like why are you linking with a stranger? But I don't care, I'm grown. So I did it anyway. So when he pulled up, he was like, he tall just like I am. So, cause he didn't believe me that I said I was tall. And he was like, damn, you really is tall. And his, But he was like, he liked that though. So I was like, okay, cool. It, I knew he was DL from the jump because he hood nigga. Like what DL you know that's gonna be hood like that? Not hood like that. So, um, by the way, I'm on the phone with one of these hoes. So that's why I'm muting him so I can shut up. But anyways, so as he came in my dorm room, he was like looking around, you know, it was smelling good in there because I had a plug in. And then he was just like complimenting my room and like how I had it set up and stuff. He was like, oh, it's big. And um, that's when we just sat on the bed and it got like an awkward quietness. Like that awkward quietness definitely gives very much, let's do something. Like it's just gonna give, let's have sex. So I I didn't even clean out to like even bottom or nothing. Like I just, only thing he was gonna get out of me was him eating my ass and me sucking his dick. But um, what else? What else happened, child? This happened a minute ago. Oh, so as I sit next to him on the bed or whatever, he was just like, "What's up?" And he like he got comfortable real quick, child. He laid his he laid back in my spot where I lay at and over his motherfucking legs. It was like, you trying to suck my dick? And I was like, mm, sure it is. Pull that shit out. <laughs> the fuck, pull that shit out. And he pulled it out, y'all. It was a nice one. I ain't even gonna lie, it was a nice one. It was a nice one. It was a nice one. It was a pretty nice one. It was a nice one. It was a really big nice one. It was a nice one. So bitch, I went to work. Bitch, I went to motherfucking work. You better work, ho. Oh. Better, better, you better work. Oh, so after that happened over there, he did eat my ass. So I noticed something fall out his pocket on the floor and it sounded really heavy like boom. And I had tile floors, my job was on the fourth floor. I looked down, it's a big ass Glock. A big ass Glock. This nigga. Got a whole Glock in his fucking pocket. And mind you, I'm really nervous when it comes to guns because, like, a lot of gun violence been happening. A lot of accidents been happening and everything, like, with guns in general. So, like, when it fell, it could have fired off and shot me. Like, or him. Like, it just would have it just would have went bad the entire time. So, I'm like, what is that? And he's like, oh, don't worry about that. Like, don't worry about that. And he was like, he tried to pick it up. I was like, uh-uh, you got to go because I don't play no games when it comes to these guns. And, and he was like, what? I was like, you gotta go, cause like, I don't have, we're not supposed to have guns on campus. Excuse me. We're not supposed to have guns on campus and we're not supposed to have guns in my dorm room. And I don't want to be around no guns. So I was like, you, you need to leave, like you need to go. Like I had, I did not hesitate at all to kick him out cause I don't play about the gun. And so he was getting real pressed and he was like, why? What the fuck is you talking about? Like, ain't nobody gonna shoot you, nigga. And he was like, you did this. Like he just started like saying a bunch of rude shit to me. So mind you, I'm getting nervous because bitch, why are you getting riled up? If I said you just gotta go, like, 
if you can't go put your gun up and come back, then that's don't that's on you. So, bitch, I was like, well, I don't give a fuck. So, like I said, leave my fucking room. And, bitch, me and him started arguing. This nigga gonna pick the gun up and tell me if I don't shut the fuck up, he gonna motherfucking shoot me, bitch. I was like, what? He cocked it, bitch. When he cocked it, my heart fell into my stomach and I shitted it out on top of my bed. When I tell you he cocked the gun literally after me just arguing with him, telling him to leave, bitch, that's nothing to play with. That is nothing to play with. So... I did be quiet. Like, he was like, shut the fuck up. So, like, I just stopped talking. I just like, looked at him like. Like, I just looked at him like, bro, what the fuck? So, this nigga dead ass was trying to shoot me. Like, he was going to shoot me if I wouldn't have, if I would have kept going on about it. He was probably going to shoot me. Because why would you cock the gun if I'm just telling you to leave? Like, what is you doing? You psycho. Like, I don't ever want to see you again. Like, I will call the police on you. Like, cause I have pictures of this nigga and everything. Like, I will call the police on you. Like, what is you doing? Like, you need to get out. So after I was like being quiet, or whatever, he was like, whatever. He was like, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and go. And I was just, I didn't say shit until he left. And when he left, I locked my motherfucking door and literally was breathing hard as fuck. Cause like, what the fuck was that? Like, all of that happened so quick, y'all. It blew my mind. Like, I could have died. And that's what I get for linking with a stranger. I know you can't tell me. Y'all can't tell me shit. Like, I already know. I already know. It's, that's what I get. But it's like, um, she happened, but that shouldn't have happened. That specifically shouldn't have happened because why would you try to shoot me if I'm telling you you need to leave or go put it away? Like, I don't feel safe around you with the gun. And that's exactly why I don't feel safe because look how people act when they get guns. Like, People get guns and don't know how to act and this world is really dangerous with these guns. So y'all please be safe. Please stop like taking everything a risk and think, taking everything as a joke. Please be safe out here y'all because that could have been the end of my life in my dorm over something so simple. And believe it or not, people die over simple shit every single day with guns and without guns. So please be careful. Please be mindful of who you are talking to and please be safe out here y'all. Please be safe. But that is literally the end of my story time. That dear boy, I never talked to him again after that. I did, he did hit me up a few times afterwards, but I never did respond to him. So yeah, that's the end of that. I will never see him again, but that's the end of my story time, guys. I really hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all subscribe, turn on that post notification bell so you are notified when I upload a new dear story time. And I'll see y'all in my next YouTube video.